Hey everybody, welcome to day 126 of my carnivore journey. I hope you guys are having a great Easter. Um, you know, whether you celebrate it or not, but I do. Um, Jesus Christ is my Savior, and I believe in God, our Lord. And, uh, you know, so I just wanted to say happy Easter, everybody. And it, again, if you don't celebrate it, happy Easter to you anyways. I hope you're having a good Sunday. I hope you're having a good journey on your carnivores. So um, moving on, guys, I've got a lot to cover. So let's get into things. Um, I'm going to try to make this video fairly short, though. But guys, if you've never clicked on my video before, um, I share my journey every single day. This is 126 uh, day. I have 126 videos out there of this journey specifically. Every day I tell you what I eat and how I feel. So if you want to follow the carnivore life, then this is a, a template for you, if you will. It doesn't have to be exact. Anyways. All right. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for real. So first things first, I thought I cheated on my diet. Okay. But it was, it turns out it was a dream, but I want to tell you, there are some very heavy influences in, you know, your dreams and in life in general. And we have to consist, you know, you have to resist these temptations. Now I, I really probably should have covered more about temptations and things like that yesterday, really, because we're going into the Easter Easter day and there's going to be a lot of people. And I'm sure a lot of you watching, I already know one person for sure. I'm probably going to get other comments. People are going to break their carnivore diet and they're even going to probably break keto. They're going to cheat on their diet. They're going to consider it a cheat meal, whatever they're going to do, but they are going to probably fall off the horse. A lot of people. And I'm going to get a lot of comments. Now, some of you are going to remain true. And, and I don't, I'm not trying to judge anybody. If you fell off the wagon, let me just, let me speak to you first. If you fell off the wagon, listen, don't be ashamed. Come back. Okay. Don't just be like, man, ah, screw it. You know, blah, blah, blah. No, keep going. Learn from that. First of all, when you fell off the wagon, did it? Did you feel any achiness? Did you feel any side effects? Now, I'm I'm probably guessing most of you, if you're being honest with yourself, you probably didn't feel that good afterwards, like when it was all said and done. So learn from that. Because remember, I'm not perfect. I fell off the wagon by having a couple Subway cookies back on what? In the day 62, I think it was, something like that. And, but I learned from that. It's like that made me feel like crap. And I felt the effects of it for like four days. So I've learned from that. And that's what I'm saying. If you fell off the wagon, it's okay. Don't be ashamed. Like uh, tell me in the comments. I'm not going to, you know, judge you. Um, just get back on it. Get back on it and stay strong. You guys tell me that I'm here to motivate you and keep you going and that I'm an inspiration. Well, I'm trying to do that for you, right? I'm telling you, get back on the horse, okay? You can do it. Seriously, you guys can do it. Um, now, for those of you that stayed strong, awesome. You know, good job. And, and keep encouraging others out there to stay the course because it is worth it. So today... I, you know, for Easter weekend, um, it was like one of those, it, it really caught us by su surprise in a way because we, as a family, we just been going through a lot of um, personal stuff and it was kind of one of those like, oh my God, tomorrow's Easter. And then when we started totaling up everything we were going to need to get to, to put on a dinner, even though I eat a lot more simple. Uh, we decided to go out to eat to what's called Golden Corral, or I call it Golden Trough. So it is a buffet. For those of you not familiar with Golden Corral, there is it's a it's a buffet that has steak and you know ham and different kinds of meats. It has a, of course a lot of breads, pastas. You know, I mean it's it's an American style buffet, so to speak, or like a dinner time buffet versus like a Chinese or like Oriental type buffet or um, uh, like 
a breakfast buffet or something. This is just like a dinner style buffet. So we went there now. Uh, if you didn't notice the thumbnail, I'm going to show you right here. And this is what I ate. It was a surf and turf. So you can eat smart. And I actually had like four plates of food. Um, the first plate, which is the one you saw, this was the steak. There was a couple pieces of grilled fish. And um, what that other little pile was, was actually a pile of bacon bits from their salad bar. They had the real bacon bits. They didn't have the crunchy fake ones. They had real ones. So I got a scoop of those to kind of eat with my food and the fish and the... Um, now, the fish was like in a sauce, but not like a sauce, but like it was in a very runny... I don't know if it was... It was probably a combination of water, maybe some... Um, oils or something, juices. I don't know what all was in in it, but I when I took the fish out, I really tried to like hold it against the pan a little bit, get any of the extra juice off there, and I put it on my plate because, again, I don't know if it was oils. They don't seem to be fried. They, they looked more baked, Um, maybe. I, I don't know. But either way, it, it didn't have breading. And it was good, you know, uh, paprika and stuff, you know, on there. I could taste. And, of course, steak. Um, steak, they just throw on this open grill. They don't use um, oils. They just have this, uh, like, flat-top grill. I watched them. I didn't see them using any oils. So I was I was happy with that. Um, but I had probably four total pieces of steak. Now, I don't know how much total it was. I'm pretty sure it wasn't my normal kind of one pound worth uh, or 16 ounces worth, but because, you know, they give you these smaller pieces. So I had like four decent sized chunks of steak. They were, of course, thinner. Um, they ranged from medium to well. <laughs> so one guy, when I, I told him I wanted medium or medium well, he gave me a well done piece. <laughs> he gave me a, a medium well piece one time. He gave me a medium piece another time. It just kind of varied, even though I kept telling them the same thing. I kept telling them medium. And, um, but regardless, um, I got a pretty good amount of steak. And I think I even finished with a big plate of fish as well. I was trying to at least fill up on fish since the steak, you know, it was, it was getting slimmer to come by. Uh, because even that last piece I had was kind of small. It was thicker, but he was running out of steak at the time. And I didn't feel like waiting around. By then, you know, we were all kind of like... The rest of the the people I was with were finishing up, you know, my wife and son and and uh, other dudes. So they were kind of all fishing up, uh, finishing up, and uh, I didn't have any dessert, you know. Um, and I did order some butter. I did ask them, like, "Hey, what kind of butter do you have?" They're like, "Just regular buddy cause, butter." Because Golden Crow was also known to serve a lot of honey butter, and they actually was like, "Yeah, we don't have any honey butter right now." So they just said, we just have regular butter. I was like, okay, it's real butter. They said, yeah. So I, I clarified that. They brought me out a little, you know, a little um, thing, a little uh, ramekin or whatever you want to call it of the butter. And I would put that on some of my steak. And and um, so I kind of melt, melted my own butter right as, when I brought it back to the table. I put some salt on the steak because it was lacking that. But it, it was okay. That was my Easter dinner. And it was, it was carnivore, you know. I didn't... Um, they have a dessert buffet up there with all kinds of cakes and ice cream. I didn't even go close to it. My son brought back a, a thing uh, where he had some Easter cake and, and and whatnot. My wife didn't actually have dessert. That was um, that was good. She decided not to. So, um, so that was all good. You know, that was all good. Uh, but was it worth the money? Um, eh, you know. I probably would have rather just had my one pounder at home. You guys know me. I My one pound burger now, I kind of missed it in a way. But the steak was nice, you know, and I had a few fatty cut parts. Some of it was hard to eat. It was the gristly kind of fat. Um, and then, but again, all in all, it, it was okay. So that was my Easter. Now, what, what was I talking about when I told you guys about cheating on my diet? So I wanted to bring this up because... In this dream I had, believe it or not, I when I had this dream, I remember I was traveling and I was going through a drive-thru 
And I was following somebody. I can't remember exactly who, but in my dream, it was like some guy. It was like a couple guys. They were ordering ahead of me. I had my window down and they had their window down. I could hear them ordering and they had got like a burger and like they had gotten uh, some things and then they, they got some shakes. And for some reason, my mind in my dreams was like, hey, you could get a vanilla shake because it's cream, you know, and it's vanilla. It's it's it should be carnivore. Like I didn't even think about the sugar. Okay, like I was just like, hey, I could have me a vanilla shake. I'm out on the road. I was justifying it in my mind in my dream, and then for some reason, when I got up there, they were like, hey, um, I said, you know, I need a vanilla shake. And they said, uh, what topping would you like? And I panicked in my dream and I was like, uh, and I'm trying to think of something healthy, like in, in my old healthy mind. And I'm like, oh, uh, blueberries. <laughs> and, but the blueberries they gave me on top of the ice cream was like the blueberry filling from like the pie, like the really sugary filling from blueberry pie, not like actual fresh blueberries. <laughs> so, I'm like eating it going, well, I mean, this should be okay. I should be okay and blah, blah, blah. And I remember even in my dream, I was consciously thinking of you guys, like my viewers. I was like, well, I think people, I think they'll understand. You know, I, I was away. I was, I was out in town and I woke up and I was kind of like, I felt guilt and I was kind of panicked. I was like, oh my God. So, you know, I, I just want to, I just wanted to mention that. Sure. I, I was just trying to uh, share with you guys, but it, it was a temptation, you know, because even when I woke up, I almost felt like I had a craving for vanilla shakes, you know, and and I and I almost wanted to actually start justifying it in real life once I woke up. But again, you have to stop and and you got to remind yourself of how important your health really is versus that kind of stuff and that tasty poison because it's a poison. It really is. So I don't know. I hope those stories help or at least entertain you guys a little bit. I just thought I'd share a little bit of personal stuff there. Um, also, on a side note, um, I thought about, and I may talk more about this because I think it's important, but I just wanted to mention it toward the end of the video right now. But I may do a video on this tomorrow. But um, as, as some of you may or may not know, a, lo a lot of you watching this probably know who Bruce Willis is. You know, and he's been diagnosed with like a frontal temporal uh, dementia. And there's a lot of speculation. His health has been severely de declining. Um, you know, honestly, it's like, and the reason why I think we should maybe talk about it more tomorrow, and I think you guys should share some stories, is because I would love, I, I just almost wish I could reach out to the Willis family and be like, and I just don't you just wish you could just have somebody's ear for like an hour and just be like, hey, listen, get him on carnivore right now. Get Bruce Willis on carnivore, get him on carnivore right now and then continue doing the normal therapy stuff or whatever. Like, but get him on carnivore. I would I would just love just just try it. Right. I mean, what do you got to lose? They they're they're they keep talking about like, oh, this is going to be his last, you know, this and his last that. Like, you know, there's people with stage four cancer that went to carnivore that's been around now for years. So I just wish I could, I wish I could just tell them, you know what I mean? I wish somebody could listen to me. I wish somebody from the Wills family, like, you know what? Let's try that. Let's just try it. Put them on carnivore. See what happens. I bet. I bet. I wonder. Anyways, guys, we will see you tomorrow. I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. I love you guys. Bye.